Hi everybody, it's Music on Fire Tan. I haven't been here in a while, but today I'm just gonna talk to you about my updated um, hair regimen. So what I first do, this is um, just talking about how I do my hair without combing it, without completely taking my hair down in its entirety. I haven't had my hair out completely since about July. Um, when I got out of school for finals, I had it out. And then I put it back up and I've had it pretty much um, in twists ever since, some version of twists. Um, so what I do first is I wet my hair completely in the twists and then I use this little scalp brush which can easily be purchased at your local grocery store, very very cheap, and this Affinia shampoo which I got from Melaleuca and I've had for several months because I don't use a whole lot of shampoo. And I just wet my hair like I said and I put a little bit of shampoo in different spots in my head and massage it in with the scalp brush. Then I go and wash my hair, wash the shampoo out of my hair, and I do my deep conditioning treatment. So deep conditioning isn't necessarily required. I like to do a lot of so you know complicated-ish stuff with my hair because doing my hair is pretty therapeutic for me. So what I'm using now is this stuff here, Cassia Obovata, which I got from Amazon.com for I believe what was less than five dollars. You can find it online anywhere. Um, and it shouldn't be very expensive. This is a lot and it's going to last me for quite a while. I mix this in my little wooden bowl with this, the Affinia Conditioner. And I make it pretty thick, like a nice little pudding. I put that on my hair. You don't have to use gloves when you're using Cassia because it doesn't stain like its sister Henna does. I use gloves just because I don't like to get too, too messy. And I want to get this on each part of my hair, as many parts of my hair as humanly possible so I do use um, gloves but you don't know sorry um, it usually stains my clothes a little bit so I use something that I don't mind getting dirty um, it does stain towels so I have a special towel that I use for that and it can get on your um, hard surfaces and stain them so you want to be a little careful with that and you do want to use gloves in my opinion because it turns your hands this interesting shade of yellow which is not very cute so and it eventually comes off obviously but with henna you want to be a little more careful because it does stain and that's what I actually used to use for my deep conditioning treatment. Still using this exact same conditioner, so it lasts a long time. You don't have to use a whole lot. So once that's done, I wash my deep conditioning treatment out of my hair using my shampoo again. And I, I like to get it all out because when you leave um, powdery substances on your hair, it can make it kind of brittle. So I make sure to wash it out as much as possible. Then I use a hot oil. I have no idea where my hot oil is right now. Um, so I have to look for that today. But I got a hot oil recently. I think it's from Queen Ellen, which I got from um, Sally's Beauty Supply. It's nice, but my favorite hot oil that I've used thus far was Hot Six Oil. And I haven't used any of that in a while, but that was my favorite hot oil to use. Um, it's pretty nice, it's a really nice scent. And it just made my hair feel really soft and happy and I was excited. This is some oil that I also got from the Electric Cell Food Company, which is Dr. Sabi's products, which you can find online. I'll probably put the link for that here. Um, and I use this, I just kind of put it on my hair when I'm styling. So after I wash out the deep conditioner, like I said, I do a hot oil treatment. I don't wash the hot oil out. I just let it sit on there for a little while. I heat the oil, but not so much that it's burning my skin. I put it on my hair, I put a shower cap on, and I usually have a little cloth cap thing that I also put on, and I just kind of, you know, chill out around the house or whatever for about 20 minutes because the heat from my body helps to heat up the oil and do whatever it's supposed to do with the hot oil treatment. <laughs> and then I don't wash it out, like I said. Then I go ahead and style it, and I start from the back, which you can start from any side you want. Um, I use this to style my hair, this oil, which is from uh, the Fig Tree Company. That's the name of this company, and I'll probably put that up here, too. It's a really nice company. They have a lot of great stuff, nutrition, things for your hair, all kinds of wonderful stuff. And I use this hair milk as well, the Peppermint Tea Tree Hair Milk from Eden Body Works, one of my new favorite companies on my hair because it smells great, and my hair really likes it, I can tell. This I use on my temples because it's temple balm from the same company Eden Body Works and I have found that it is helping my edges grow out a lot so if you use it on a regular basis which I use it pretty often but I don't use it every day um, you will in my opinion see a difference so that being said I do that 
Um, like I said, I don't use combs at all, which means like I just take a twist down and it is wet. I do my hair wet. Um, and I just take it down and kind of pull through with my fingers um, and pull out a lot of the shed hair, throw it away. And that's the end of it. I don't usually use a comb unless I am flat ironing like I did the top the other week because I was doing some flat twists and I can't seem to get them to look like I want them to without straightening them a little bit and I did use a comb for that. But otherwise, I don't even usually use combs or brushes um, on my hair. So it is possible and I found that when I did that regimen for about six months where I washed my hair in the twists, I didn't use a comb, I didn't use a brush and I um, was using henna on my hair with the conditioner, my hair grew a lot and felt a lot stronger. So that is another option for you if you're planning to grow your hair out or just want it to be a little stronger or tired of combs. Because I found that combing can be good. If you have a nice wide tooth comb, um, nice and strong, that you don't use to like constantly pull your hair, you'll see a lot of benefit using that. But it's hard for me to find combs like that, period. So I just kind of gave up and I just used my hands and just kind of go through it. And I found it works great. Um, yeah, no real complaints there because I am tender headed. So combing my hair is not one of my favorite things to do anyway. So I hope this helps. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you later.